I'm Lauren Butron and we are here at the 2021 Metallic Cat in CHA Summer Spectacular and we are talking today to Mr. Christian Moore who marked the 225 on Smart Lucky Sandman. You guys have had an amazing year so far. Um, tell us a little bit about this horse. Oh, and he's owned by Ted and Nancy Turner. Um, they've been amazing to have, it sounds like. Yes, so, they're, they're yeah. one of a kind for sure. They're, yeah. uh, they're great people. and. And we're truly blessed, blessed to have such a great horse. Yeah. Um, you know, they sent him to me early in his three-year-old year, and uh, you know, he, he was. You know, then he was just a tall, lanky horse. You know, he <laughs> he was. We we didn't know what to think about him. He was talented. You know, we felt you know great things about him, but we didn't know what he was. He was a, a tall, leggy, lanky horse. You know. I used to joke around with Davide about, we used to call him our, our eight-year-old Pepto Boonsmong, because he did, he looked like he was an older horse and he was all legs, tall and lanky, you know. But, uh, you know, as the year went and, and we kept, you know, showing him gals and, and working him and just going down the road, he just got better and better. And, man, he, he, I'll never forget, you know, Cody Turner was there one day and I was working him and he was like, that's your horse? And I'm like, what do you mean? It feels like we're not doing anything. He said, exactly. He won't let you go the speed you want to go because he's so smart. <laughs> yeah. You know, like he's he's so smart you can't even make him go fast. And I thought, well, you know, maybe he's right. And, and just as the year went, you know, he got more and more special. And I remember, you know, pre-working him in Silverado, and and, and Gavin Jordan came up to me and be like, man, that's that's a special one. And you know, he's the first one that I've had that, you know, all the way through the confidence that I had with him and just with a bond that we started building up. With you know, I remember Waco having a real good uh, pre-work and, and, you know, somebody actually tried to buy him there and, and Ted pulled me aside and, you know, we got the practice spin, I, I remember that. And uh, he, uh, he said, you know, some people tried to buy him and I'm thinking, ah, I finally get one trained to, to show the maturity and he's gone, you know, and, and he said, what do you want to do? I said, what do you mean, what do I want to do? Is your horse? I said, no, this is, this is your horse. Whatever you want to do with him, uh, you know, we'll keep him, we'll, we'll sell him, whatever you want to do. And I was like, I want to keep him, you know, and it's <laughs> yeah. it's been a constant deal, and, and every time he's come straight to me and been like, hey, are you ready to sell, or do you want to keep him? And I said, well, I want to keep him, and he said, all right, we're right there with you. Keep, keep on doing your thing, and, you know, it's just been a special bond between them, me, and the horse, and it's just been a really special year for us. Yeah, and so this is, so this was your, you know, uh, Derby Intermediate Champion, you know, and then you also made the finals on... Um, on another Sandman baby. Oh, Jay Sandy Square. Yeah, which is right. really cool that they're right. both Sandman. Right. Yeah. Um, and she, like, you made the, the uh, Derby Open finals on her as well. Right. It's just been like a great show for you. It has. We've been blessed yeah. with a, a phenomenal show. For yeah, sure. and so you're going to go on, and what are your plans for the fall with these horses? Are you going to like keep it going? Are you gonna... I don't know yet. Customers don't get mad at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to uh, West Texas for sure. Yeah. Uh, there's been talk about going maybe Idaho, Rancho, and, and Vegas. Some of those, is, you know, we're first time we're going out there. So uh, I get a little nervous about being gone. But, you know, they told me that, uh, you know, we got the horsepower. There's money on the table. We might as well try to, try to chase it, you know. Yeah. But, so we'll see. You know, we're going to play it by ear. If we keep having a good show, we'll go to the next one. If not, we'll come back home, lick our wounds, and go back to the drawing board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's exciting because uh, that whole uh, – Ranch. It's pretty fun, and, and it being the last ranch show and everything, like, like uh, well, having a couple sandmans, you know, that's that's big for Buffalo Ranch, and, yeah, and the and more money we can, yeah, the, the more money we can put on them, the, the happier Boss Man Shane will be. Well, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Um, and then, uh, so with these two horses, you know, being by Sandman, um, do you see some similarities in them, or are they very different horses? Ah, I do, I do, and I don't. They're all, they're all, both of them are so cowy. It's, it's crazy. When you get on them, it's just, you, you're going to go for a ride, and it's going to be, you know, fun. That mare, ah, man, she's just, she's been an, a, a tough deal. She's always had the talent. Like, you know, going to maturity, I thought this is the one that, you know, it's my second best, but it just never quit quite right away. You know, Tommy Tommy did an excellent job with Orac showing up maturity for us and, and did well, um, you know, presented really well. and. and you know, but she's always had the talent. You know, she kills the ground. She reminds me more of Sandman than any Sandman I've seen her really. Yeah. She kills the ground and she wants to crawl around. And you know, I didn't get her till I think this time of her two-year-old year last year. And 
of the two-year-old year, and, and I feel like this was more of her fertility than the rest of the year. I've had, you know, I'd be marking a five, and we'd run up a pin for no reason at all, or we'd be marking a, a good score, and we'd just do something crazy, and it was like her mind hadn't quite caught up to her abilities yet, and I went to Ardmore, and I thought, man, if I don't get this married, you know, these owners are going to be really upset with me, <laughs> so I need to get something done, and it was like, that shows something clear, like she got smart, and I could, you know, sit, you know, I could use her, and she's physical um, to a you know, smart looking Sandman. He's a genius. He's brilliant. You know, I, I can't put him in the wrong spot. I try many times <laughs> each run. I, I just, I can't, I can't put him in a bad spot without him just saying, you know, hold tight, I got this. I'll get us out of this situation. And, you know, his brilliance and, and his style is, is just his own gift. You know, that's just him. He's always been that way of just brilliance. He's, he's the smartest horse I've gotten to ride. And, you know, most of the time when I just sit there and stay out of his way, we do pretty good, and even when I do get in his way, he normally gets me out of it. So <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's just—it's a good feeling to have both of them, and you know, it's—it's it's good to work for Buffalo Ranch and, and have two Sandmans that are, you know, open caliber horses that are starting to prove themselves and and, and prove that that stud is is something to look at breeding wise. Yeah, for sure. I know it's all like really coming together and yeah. it's exciting to watch. And, uh, we're real happy for you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. And I hope that your um, that your kind of momentum keeps going here in the fall we're excited both. to watch it and everything <laughs> um but congratulations again thank you man. and we want to thank bad moon rising for um helping us with these updates in the open through the show and to metallic cat for sponsoring this show um yeah congratulations thank you ma'am